Welcome everyone. In our previous video, we designed a Wheatstone bridge for our thermistor, or we found the parameters R2, R3, and R4 based on our project specification. We are following a project-based approach in our video series, sensors and their microcontroller interfacing. You can watch the whole playlist to understand our complete design workflow. Here, in this video, we are going to simulate our designed with Stone Bridge circuit in a Protas software environment. Okay, let's jump into our software. If you like the video and find it useful, please give me your like so that YouTube can help me recommending it to others. Subscribe and set the notification bell to all for more of our future videos. Here we are in our Protus software environment. To create our schematic, let's click here. Okay, now this is the main interface where we can draw our schematic diagram. In the left end of this workspace, there are a lot of tools that you can use frequently while drawing your schematic. For example, in our case, we will use those tools to draw our Wheatstone Bridge circuit. The primary task of constructing our Wheatstone Bridge is bringing the required components to the workspace. To do so, click here, the components mode, and then click P. After that, this search window will pop up now, for example, write our NTC, negative temperature coefficient thermistor, NTC here. As soon as you write NTC, many sensors of different specifications are listed down here. Search for your sensor out of those bunch of sensors. As we have seen in another video, we have a sensor with specifications as studied there. For example, it has this part name NTC LE100 E3. So write it there LE E3. Now, if you are connected to the internet, a list of sensors from your manufacturer will be listed down here again. For example, our manufacturer was Vishai BC Components. So you can find it here. For example, this NTC is manufactured by Vishai BC components. Particularly, our sensor have a resistance of 1.5 kilo ohm at 25 degrees centigrade and has this B value, 35 to 8. Search here in the components exactly for this sensor. If you can find, it is better and all our calculations will correspond or will be similar to our simulation values. If you can get exactly the sensor you specified in the simulation and in our calculation. But I searched for it. It is not still included in the Protus environment. So let's use the generic NTC. Remove this one and search for simply NTC. And this is a generic NTC. So you can click here generic model for negative temperature coefficient thermistor click here okay or you can simply double click here it is included in your workspace now again include other components for example there are three resistors r2 r3 and r4 our r2 and r3 are equal with a value of 200 ohm right resistor here again or you can simply click on resistors here in the category part and click here in the subcategory part 0.6 watt metal film and search for 200 ohm resistor here this is 200 ohm resistor so click ok here as you can see it is included in your devices second and next let's include our 1.5 kilo ohm resistor here it is click here and double click or press ok now it's included the last component in our Wheatstone bridge is our dc source or our battery let's include it by clicking p here and search it for v source and here it is v source dc voltage source and press here and double click now we included all required materials for our Wheatstone bridge the next task is constructing our circuit here in this workspace. Okay, let's start 
our circuit construction. Before that, we should save our work, save the project as, and save your work in your project folder. I save it in simulations folder with a name bridge circuit. Now, first let's position our NTC thermistor or our sensor by clicking NTC from the devices list. If you want to rotate it into a position you want to, you can click the device and then rotate it either clockwise or anti-clockwise. But I want it to be placed like this. Now simply click here. Your cursor change it to the pencil style and now click here. As soon as you click here, your sensor will be placed here. Next, place 200 ohm resistor or R2. Click it and I want it to be positioned vertically. Rotate it clockwise like this. So now let's click here. Let's edit our sensor specifications by double clicking it or right click on the sensor and click here the edit properties. Now a window will pop up to edit your materials specifications for example the b value for my sensor is 3528 and its value at 25 degrees centigrade is 1.5 k you can edit your temperature step here and uh, after finishing your editing you can click ok and edit this name rt only and press ok here double click here and the name is r2 change it to r2 and press ok second let's place our r3 which is equal to r2 with a value of 200 ohm and click here this is r3 r3 and press ok is r4 with 1.5 Ohm, double click it and edit R4 and press OK. The last component is our battery or voltage DC voltage source. Click it here. I want to be placed like this and now click here. After placing all our components, let's connect or construct our circuit like this. But our source will be 5 volt here. Double click it and change it. This one volt to 5 volt. And press OK. OK, this is our circuit. Now let's see the behavior of our thermistor by adding voltage measurement device for ETH or for the output voltage. To add voltmeter, click here. Then select DC voltmeter. And now click here on your workspace. Now your voltmeter is placed connect to the terminals where you want to measure the voltage. In our case, I want to measure ETH that is across those nodes. This is our complete circuit. Now let's see the value of output voltage or ETH at minus 5 degree centigrade when the temperature is at minus 5 degree centigrade. In our case, at the minimum temperature, let's set this one to minus 5 degree centigrade. Right click here and see its behavior again. It did properties. Set this temperature to minus 5 degree centigrade and press OK. As you can see, the temperature is minus 5 degree centigrade here. Now let's run our simulation by clicking this one. Now, as you can see, the output voltage at minus 5 degree centigrade is minus 1.38 volt. But in our calculations, it was minus 1.4491. This difference is because of our sensor's mismatch. This variation is not that much significant. Approximately one digit after this month, our calculation and our simulation are almost similar. So this is approximately at minus 1.4 volt and our calculation 
is also at minus 1.4 volt for minus 5 degrees centigrade temperature value. Now you can see the variations in voltage increasing our temperature with the specified temperature step. Let's increase the temperature with a step of 1 degree centigrade. For example, from minus 5 to minus 4, minus 3. At 10 degree centigrade, the output voltage is minus 0.66 volt. And at 50 degree centigrade, our maximum temperature is set it to 50 degree centigrade. Press OK and simulate it again. Now, as you can see, at 50 degree centigrade, the output voltage of our Whitstone bridge is plus 1.13 volt. This is a simulation of our previously designed Whitstone bridge. As you can see, the voltage varies from minus 1.38 to plus 1.13 volt for a temperature variation of minus 5 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade. But to interface this circuit to our microcontroller, our microcontroller needs some specified value of voltage ranges. So to bring this voltage variation to some specified ranges, like for example, from 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 3.3 volt, we need to reshap this voltage signal. So in our next video, we will see how we can shape this output voltage to our predefined voltage ranges. Our next video will focus on the design of amplifier circuit for this output voltage. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel. Feel free to leave your comment.